Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run the game Persona 5 Strikers on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip and 32 gigabytes of RAM. And we're running the game Persona 5 Strikers. This is the Windows version of the game and we're running it through a virtual machine. So this is being run in a window here as a virtual machine. You can see here we've got Steam in the background. And we've got Windows 11 here in the background, but we've got Persona 5 Strikers working here. So today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install Parallels and then go ahead and set up Steam and then also install Persona 5 Strikers and get it working through the Parallels virtual machine. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe button. It really helps this channel out and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing that we need to do is to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So I'm going to leave a link to this web address in the description and this is going to take us to the Windows Insider Preview download of Windows 11 ARM. So if you're seeing this page, it means that you need to sign up to the free Windows Insider program and I'm just going to show you how to do that. So first of all, we need to log into a Microsoft account. So you can use any Microsoft account. This process is completely free. And once we've done this, what we can do is to click on this blue button here for learn more. So I'm going to click on this now. And then what we're going to do is to scroll down and then we'll get to this Windows Insider Program sign up. We're going to click this register button here. So here it's saying we're going to register for the Windows Insider Program. I'm going to click sign in now. So it's already detected that I've logged into my Microsoft account. I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to click I accept the terms of this agreement and then click register now. And when it says welcome to the Windows Insider program, we're now able to go ahead and download Windows 11 ARM. So what we now need to do is to return to this web address that we had at the beginning. And now that we've logged in with a Microsoft Insider program account, this page has changed and we now have this blue button here, which is the Windows 11 ARM download button. So I'm gonna click this button now and it's going to download Windows 11 ARM VHDX for us. So this download is going to take a little bit of time. It's 9.5 gigabytes in size. So whilst we're waiting for this to complete, we can move on to the next step. So next we're going to download and install Parallels, which is the virtual machine software we're going to be using in order to run Windows 11 ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So what I do recommend that you do is to click the link at the top of the description. This is going to take you to the Parallels download page. If you make a purchase after clicking this link, then you'll be helping to support my channel and the work that I do. So once you've clicked the link, what you can do is try the software out for free for 14 days. If you do decide to buy now and click new license, what you can do is go ahead and select the Pro Edition and then click buy now. And if you click this enter a coupon code button here, and then you type in the code AppleWiki10 and click apply, then you're going to receive a 10% discount. So here I'm going to use the free trial and I'm going to click the download now button here. And then we're going to press OK. And then the software has downloaded. So now I'm going to navigate to my finder and then go to my downloads folder. And then I can see here my Windows 11 ARM is still downloading. However, I'm going to go ahead and install ParallelsDesktop.dmg. So here we're going to double click on the installer. And now we're going to double click on install Parallels Desktop. Here we'll press open and we're just going to let this finish downloading. So now we're going to enter our password and press OK. So once Parallels is installed, what we're going to do is to double click on Parallels Desktop and then we're going to be met with this installation wizard. So here we're going to press continue and what we're going to do is to create a new Windows 11 ARM virtual machine. So we're going to select the right hand side icon here and press continue. Now it's automatically detected that we've downloaded the Windows 11 ARM VHDX file in our downloads folder. So if this doesn't appear, what you can do is click choose manually and then click select a file and then we can go to our downloads folder and then select the Windows 11 ARM Insider Preview and then press open. So next we're going to press continue and because we want to maximize game performance, I'm going to select games only as a primary use and press continue. So here we can set a name for our virtual machine. I'm just going to leave it as default and press create. And now we're going to let Parallels create that virtual machine for us. So now Windows 11 ARM is being installed and this is going through the setup process. And that's going through the setup process. We just have to wait for this to complete. So now that installation is complete, we're going to press the continue button here and Windows 11 has automatically maximized itself. You can see here that Windows, you can see here that there are various updates that are already being installed. So we're going to minimize this and we're going to close this browser window. So one of the main things to do when you first start is obviously let the updates all complete. A handy tip as well is to right click on the desktop here and then click display settings. And here we're going to configure the display resolution. So Scaling is something that I always change to 100%. This is because sometimes games will crash if they're run at a higher display scale. So now we're going to 
to install Steam. So I'm going to click on the Microsoft Edge icon here, and then we're going to type in the web address steampower.com. And then we're going to click this button on the top right called install Steam. And then we're going to be downloading and installing the Windows version of Steam so that we can play it on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once that's downloaded, we're going to press open file, press the yes button here. And now we're going to go through the Steam setup process. So here we're going to press next, select English, select install here, and let Steam install. Now we're going to finish and press run Steam. So now we're just going to let Steam update. So if you don't have a Steam account, you can go ahead and create a new account for free. However, I'm going to log into my existing account now. So what we're going to do now is to go to the store. And then we're going to search for the game Persona 5 Strikers. And if you don't have this game purchased already, then you can go ahead and purchase it through Steam here. It is possible to buy Persona 5 Strikers through Games Planet. This will provide a Steam key and is often far cheaper than the official Steam website. If you click on the link in the description, you'll be helping to support this channel and the work that I do. So once Persona 5 Strikers is in your Steam library, what you can do is go to the library tab, then we're going to click the install button here, and then we're going to install it onto the computer. So here we're just going to press agree to the end user licensing agreement. So just let this download, it's 20 gigabytes in size, it'll just take a bit of time for that to complete. So once Persona 5 Strikers has downloaded, we can continue to the next step. Here it's asking us for permission, I'm going to press yes. Now it's performing a first time setup and it's installing the dependency for DirectX. So just let that complete. So once the dependency is installed, the game is automatically loading. Now the window has come up, but it's not quite responsive, but we can see this menu is actually loading up here. Here we're going to create new save data, and we've got the menu loading up here. So once we've launched the game, I'm going to press the config button and then change the display settings. So I'm going to run this as a 1080p as a full screen application, and then we're going to press confirm here by pressing space and press OK again. And I'm going to keep this resolution. I'm going to go to graphic settings. I just going to keep things on low for now. So here we're going to press the new game button and then we're going to get a game going. So here the cutscene seems to be working fine. I'm just going to try to skip this. So it looks like here we're getting an OK frame rate, 50 FPS. So when we're actually in combat, it's actually dropping a little bit to 30 or 40 FPS. So I'm going to keep this graphic setting to low. I think that makes sense because it's not really performing at the highest frame rate. Here I'm just doing a special attack and uh, it's hovering over 50 FPS, so it's not too bad. If you'd like to find out more about games that are compatible for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to check out the M1 Compatible Games Master List. I'll leave a link to this in the description. This contains a really long list of games which are compatible through the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, whether it's running natively through ARM, through Rosetta 2, or one of the compatibility layers such as Crossover or Parallels. So please check it out. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Please also make sure to check out the Apple Gaming Wiki YouTube channel. This contains a playlist of game benchmarks that I performed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, and there are literally hundreds of games which I've tested. So please check this out. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. So anyway, this is how you get Persona 5 Strikers working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using the Windows 11 ARM virtual machine method. And this seems to work pretty well for the moment. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.